Hey, what's up all you do-it-yourselfers? My name is Dylan Taylor and this is Dylan's DIY Workshop. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to wood burn in five minutes. Okay, so this is going to be super fast, super simple, and let's go. Okay, so basically what wood burning is, is in some way, shape, or form you are burning wood. So there's many different ways of doing this. One is a wood burning tool, and this is what most of you probably have because it's the cheapest, simplest, and most abundant way to do it. You could also use a magnifying glass to burn it with the sun. Never tried that, but I know that it's possible. You could use a branding iron that's heated up with a torch, or you could even just use a torch itself, or you could use a lighter. There's many different ways of doing this, but like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So the way this works is it's a hot piece of metal that when plugged in, heats up, and when it gets really hot, you can burn wood with it. As you touch the wood with it, the wood burns, and it's just a matter of controlling that heat, whether you are turning the heat up or down, or whether you're moving faster or slower, or pressing harder or lighter, to make different kinds of patterns and textures and values and intensities, all different funky things like that. Things you would have learned in like art class in grade nines. Okay, so I've got this plugged in now, and one thing that you wanna make sure of is that uh, when you plug it in, you've got somewhere for it to sit that it's not gonna catch anything on fire. And I've, I've tried to like make a fire with this and I just haven't been able to, but I'm sure that it could start a fire. So it has these little lips that you can sit it on, the, these edges, kinda looks like a hex nut if you look at it the right way, and it'll sit on that edge. You can see how it's, it's not touching anything. And this is a little heat shield. It still gets really hot, so don't touch it, but it's just a heat shield. So we'll set that there and let it heat up. Now what you want to do is you want to get a piece of wood. Soft wood is much easier to get to burn. It'll burn quicker, but it won't burn as nice. So if you're getting started, it's much nicer and easier to start on a piece of pine because you can get right at it and you can actually burn something into it. Whereas you're going to get a much nicer looking image and it won't have as much sap in it if you use maple or cherry or something like a hardwood like that. So to prepare this surface, because this is still pretty rough, I'm going to use this X-Acto knife blade file, not file, it's a blade. And I'm just going to scrape like this, like a cabinet scraper. Now, alternatively, you could use some sandpaper. This is 100 grit, I believe. However you want to do it, basically what you need to do is prep the surface so that it's smoother, so that it's going to be easier to burn. So before we get started with this, there's some safety things. Obviously, you want to make sure that you don't burn yourself with the wood burner, and you don't want to burn anything else with the wood burner, especially the cord of the wood burner, because I can't imagine that going down right if you melt through the cord and then there's electricity flowing through the wire to the end where it's heating up and then it's metal. I don't think that would be a good idea. So keep it away from the cord. Leave it in a spot where you can let it cool down if you need to unplug it and just make sure you don't burn yourself with it and don't leave it unattended. Other than that, there's not much to it. Just make sure there's no cracks in the, the wire and make sure that there's no cracks in the handle here because if there is, you do not want to be using it. Also, if the handle gets super hot, stop using it because that means something bad is happening. It, it's either like the element is only heating up in the handle instead of at the end or something else is going wrong that I really don't know what the issue would be, but if it's getting hot in the handle, stop using it immediately. Also, the wood choice, do not use treated wood and do not use stained wood. It is very toxic to burn that. Do not do that. Don't use it on anything that's painted and make sure that it's a wood that is safe to use, to work with. Like you don't want to be burning anything that's toxic on its own. And you can look up wood toxicity on Google, just type in wood toxicity. I want to start off by saying in this video in no way, shape, or form. All right guys, so what you want to do is I guess just try to start burning lines. I'm just going to use the flat face of this because it is a flat chisel bit. I'm going to use a flat face to just make a line. I'm going to go super slow because that's usually what it takes. It takes patience. I'd like to mention guys that this video is in no way, shape, or form uh, an exhaustive video. All of these things that I'm talking about, all of these different things that I will mention here in this 
how to wood burn in five minutes. I've made complete video tutorials on, so if you want to learn how to burn straight lines, I have a video on that, I believe. If you want to learn how to wood burn letters, I've got a video on that. If you want the basics video, it's basically this, but much more in depth. Go watch that video. There's part one and part two. I think there might even be a part three. I honestly, I don't know. If you want to learn how to wood burn animals, shapes, or superheroes, those videos are also on my channel. I will leave a link to the wood burning playlist in the description of this video if you would like to go check that out. If you want to learn more about wood burning, there's tons of things on there. So that is wood burned right there. Now, this wood burner takes absolutely forever to burn anything, and that's probably what you're going to start out with, is something that takes forever to burn things. And it's just going to take a lot of patience, a boatload of patience. So that's how you wood burn a line. Just try to make a straight line. That's all you got to do. Try to make a straight line, and then try to make a curved line. Just go over here and try to make a curved line. The way I suggest to do it is leave your hand on the, the work piece, and then just pivot like this and then move, move your hand a bit, pivot like that, move your hand a bit, pivot like that. Now, I don't usually use this wood burner very often because I have a much nicer wood burner. It's made by razor tip, and you end up using little uh, wood burners like this. They're little pens. They're much easier to hold on to, and I would say definitely worth the... This you can get for about $20 Canadian. That costs about $200 Canadian. It's well worth it. You can turn the heat setting from 1 to 10 and you can burn much hotter than this. This I would say is probably like a 5 on that wood burner. That wood burner goes to 10. So this is only half as hot as that other one can get and you can use much finer tips on the other one. And you can hold it really close to the end. So definitely suggest looking into that if you're serious about this. This wood burner can be very discouraging, so I would suggest that one if you have, you have. The, the money available to buy such a thing. Another thing you can do, and I don't have a piece with me, is take transfer paper. That is like carbon paper, but don't use carbon paper, use graphite paper. You want to lay that on here, and you want to lay a picture on here that you've either drawn or printed off the internet, and you can just trace over it, and that will leave a marking of that image on the wood and you can just burn right over that graphite paper. And that's how I taught you guys how to wood burn the Zelda logo, the, the Deadpool, the Kirby. Most of the things that I've drawn, I haven't drawn myself, I've traced and then burned in. Which I think some people would consider cheating, but I don't because I still wood burn it by hand and that definitely takes some skill. So. Go ahead and try that. This is that Zelda wood burning I was talking about, Wind Waker. This is something that I made in February of 2016. It took me about five hours to do this. I write on the back how long things take me so that I can look back and be like, yeah, I can make that for you. You know, this took five hours. So if I wanted to sell it, I couldn't sell it for less than $50. That would be shortchanging myself, even at $50, because that's $10 an hour. Now, I guess you could say, oh, we're starving artists, you, you, that's, you know, like, you should be making $10 an hour, you know, that's great, you, you shouldn't be complaining. Well, yeah, um, whatever. So I made that, there's a video on that on my channel, so you can go check that out if you'd like. So that's how I did that, was carbon paper. I used carbon paper back then, I will only use graphite paper now. Well, guys, that's basically it. Just realize that you're using a hot piece of metal to burn a piece of wood. Other than that, it's just as far as you want to take it. There's so many different things that you can do and so many different things you can learn. Like I said, if you want to learn any kind of thing about wood burning, go check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Link to the playlist in the description of this video. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I just want to share with you the fact that I have an Etsy shop and there will be wood burnings for sale there along with wooden pipes that I sell they will be on that page. If you want to help support me in this channel and help me keep creating videos like this for you guys, please check that out. Or if you don't want to buy something from me and you just want to support me through Patreon, there will be a Patreon link in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed and you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend. Teach them something new. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, just give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.